Stay tuned for some fantastic tips, facts, and myths on viewing a solar eclipse safely. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Dr. Michael Nelson, your YouTube eye doctor, and I've got some great tips and facts and myths on viewing a solar eclipse. But before we go into that, let's just talk a little bit about what's so dangerous about a solar eclipse. So the problem with the sun is the sun emits a, an immense enormous, gigantic amount of UV light. And it's a dangerous amount of UV light, particularly when we're talking about our very delicate eyeball. Basically, the UV light and the near infrared UV radiation of the sun can damage the inside of the retina, the retinal cells, the photoreceptors, in a matter of seconds. The thing that's important for you to know is that the damage from a solar eclipse to your retina is permanent. There's no treatment that any eye doctor that can do. There's no surgery that we can repair it. There's no, there's no type of treatment that we can repair and restore that damaged tissue. So if you're not careful, you could, in a few moments, damage your vision for the rest of your life and it's just not worth it. Now, the sun can do damage to those photoreceptor cells at the back of the retina any time of the year, even if there's not a solar eclipse, if you can look at the sun long enough. The sun is so bright that you cannot look at the sun long enough without closing your eyes or turning away or, or doing something to protect your eyes from that immense amount of UV and infrared radiation. And so when there's not a solar eclipse out, you're not really at that much danger from having solar retinopathy, which is the, dam the permanent damage to the retina from the sun because you can't look at the sun long enough. Now, the only exception of that is during a solar eclipse because during a solar eclipse, the moon moves in front of the sun and that blocks enough of the light that you can now stare at the sun. And you can stare at it long enough that it will cause damage to the retina. Because even during a solar eclipse, the sun still emits that enormous, gigantic amount of UV and infrared radiation. And that can now get back to your retina long enough that can permanently burn, damage the retina, and cause blindness and loss of sight forever. Okay, so that's the scary stuff. So let's talk about how to be safe. So number one, sunglasses will not ever protect you from a solar eclipse. There's not a dark enough sunglass that you can wear that will protect you, and you can't wear multiple pairs of sunglasses that will protect you enough during a solar eclipse. So the only type of filter that will protect you from the damaging radiation of the sun is a, an approved filter or film that's ISO 123122 approved that will protect you from the radiation of the sun. And these filters are very, very dark. In fact, when I put these on, I cannot see a single thing, except when I'm looking at the sun, I can see a white circle. And during a solar eclipse, you can see it, the moon eclipsing the sun. So if you have somehow acquired a, an approved pair of solar films, what you want to do is you want to carefully inspect these films that there's not any scratches or breaks in those that can allow any radiation to damage your eye. Now, if you don't happen to have one of these special types of filters, you can build yourself a way to indirectly view the solar eclipse using pinhole projection. So I'm not going to go into detail of that because you can find lots of details about pinhole projection for viewing a solar eclipse safely. Now, the other thing you want to be careful about is counterfeit solar shields. You want to make sure that they are approved. There are lots of counterfeit ones that kind of look okay, but they may not be approved. So look for that stamp of the ISO 123122 approval and make sure you've acquired them from a reputable source. Now, the other thing that's important to know, if you walk outside, you're not at any more risk for getting UV radiation during a solar eclipse, as long as you don't look at the sun. So you're okay to walk around during a solar eclipse, but you just don't want to look at the sun inadvertently because it's going to be super easy to do that. And so on that point, you want to be careful 
with your children. So your children may not have the willpower not to look at the sun or not to know that. So you want to be careful that they're not looking at the sun. Make sure they have the protection. I know when I was in school, elementary school, they wouldn't let us outdoors during a solar eclipse because frankly, they didn't trust us. Now, you also might want to protect your pets. Now, I don't see why your pets are going to be staring at the sun, but you may want to be careful with them not sending them outdoors during the peak times for the solar eclipse. So another myth that you might think that's okay is looking at the solar eclipse through some type of optical device, like a pair of telescopes or binoculars or a camera. You might feel that, oh, those are going to protect my eyes from the solar eclipse and they're not, and in some cases, they might amplify or magnify the effect. Also, beware of myths of it being safe to look at the solar eclipse looking through film negatives or through welding glasses or welding goggles. These are not approved for safe looking at a solar eclipse. Now, the only exception of when it is safe to look at a solar eclipse without any eye protection is during the period of totality, and that's when the moon completely obscures the sun and then it is safe to look at the sun but there's a very very narrow window of time when you have complete totality and there's a very narrow band or width of the population in the world that's that is in the path of totality so you want to be very careful and make sure that you're in that period and it and basically 99 percent totality is not 100 percent, and you still risk damage to your retina. Another thing you need to be aware of is that it's also not safe to look at the eclipse off of a reflective surface like still water or a mirror or some type of reflective surface. Basically, if you're looking at that reflective surface, you're getting that UV and infrared light reflected off that surface and that's going to cause just as much damage as if you were looking directly at the sun. So don't look at the eclipse through a reflective mm -hmm. surface. One thing you also want to be careful about is taking some breaks from looking at the solar eclipse. So if you have some approved eyewear films, you do want to take some regular breaks from looking at the eclipse just in case there is some small crack in that filter so you don't get a prolonged exposure to the, the sun on the retina through that filter. And if you're not certain that you have a good way to view it, my recommendation is stay indoors watch it on TV because quite frankly, looking at it with your naked eye, the sun is super, super small and you don't get a great view. But if you're watching on TV, they're going to have a great view of it. They're going to have it magnified. It's going to look really, really cool. So be safe and have a great optometry.